Today I'm going to show you how to use the beat sequencer in GarageBand to create drum rhythms. So we'll use a basic rock rhythm and make a loop and then we'll add some bass, chordal guitar and a little lead guitar melody as well. So let's tap the plus sign in the top right and scroll along to drums and choose beat sequencer. Now, every time you touch a square on this grid, you will add a beat. So if you do that by accident, you can either tap the square that you've tapped to undo that, or you, there'll be an undo will appear up here at the top that you can also use. So down in the bottom row, beside where it says Modern 808, we have the button for saving drum patterns or using pre-existing ones. So we're going to create one, so we're going to tap there and we're going to select New Pattern. Okay. And we'll come out of there and we're going to add bass drum first. So along the top row here, we're going to select these two beats. And just below that, we've got the snare drum. So we're going to add in snare there. Okay, now the two turquoise rows, these are the open and closed hi-hat. I'm going to add the following beats in here. And that's your basic rock rhythm. We could take out the bass to have a listen. If we remove the snare as well, let's just listen to the hi-hat rhythm. And then put our bass back in. And we'll add in the hi-hat again. The snare, sorry. And that's our rhythm complete, so we're going to tap down here on the pattern button. And we're going to click save. And I'm going to save that as rock rhythm. Now I want to save three bars of that. Section A is going to be three bars long, so at the right hand end of your ruler guide, tap the plus sign and edit section A down to three bars. Oops. Okay, and then we're just going to record that. So we can just tap record at any time and it will record the full section A for us. that done. That's our rock rhythm running for three bars there. Okay, now for a bit of contrast, we're going to add a one bar fill, which is a different rhythm. So we'll add a section and we'll make section be one bar. Oh, wrong way. And we're also going to Come back to a new pattern, so factory, and then tap new pattern, okay? And for this rhythm, we need to add a crash symbol. So if you look down the left, this is the bit where you need to scroll down till you get a plus sign. Make sure you're not scrolling on the main screen over here or you'll add extra beats that you don't want and add the crash symbol and then we're going to add in the following beats so we've got the floor tom the middle tom then we're going to go up to snare and we're going to finish with the crash symbol at the bottom So once you've added those beats, you can click record. And 
and then we'll select all sections and you'll be able to hear the full loop. Well done. We'll go on to add some bass in our next step. 